At the beginning of the 2012 season, there were nine four-cylinder Pro Lights in a field of 26 trucks. By round 13, all but one truck has a V8 engine. The losing battle of the four-cylinder against the V8s are obviously not going to change any rules to slow the V8s down or to speed the four-cylinders up. After getting two podiums and six top fives last season, Jimmy Stevenson has had only one top five this season. I'm not showing up to hopefully get a top ten or, you know, squeeze in a top five, you know. We're not spending all this money doing all this stuff with sponsors and everything we do to hope for a top five or even a top ten. We want to show up to win. After the first few rounds, it was obvious that the V8 motor package was here to stay. Some drivers were unable to afford the switch to the V8, while others made the switch immediately. In order to be competitive and keep the attention of sponsors, the V8 motor package became a vital part of the driver's racing program. And with the four cylinders and the way that everything is right now, we flat out know when we show up to the track that we're not showing up to win. We're showing up to survive another weekend. I've replaced more parts every race this year than I have the last four years racing. I mean, it, it's been horrible. If you don't qualify in the top 10, you're pretty much screwed in the race. And then every race I've charged up to about sixth, seventh place or whatever, then I end up getting taken out. Stevenson made the decision that Wild West Motorsports Park in Reno would be his last race with his four-cylinder engine package. Just like any new truck, you know, we slapped this V8 in in two and a half weeks, and it's basically rebuilt the whole truck. You know, everything's new on the truck. Crazy, though, like I'm in second. Mid corner, you're up shifting a third already. Yeah, and if you just like blowing the tires off in second, you just up to third and yeah. it, oh, it just takes off and goes. Stevenson showed a lot of speed in his first race with the V8 motor package, but was unable to get the results he was looking for. We're getting competitive, and I think we're up to about fifth place, but I think I was riding the brakes a little bit, and I boiled the rear brakes, lost the rear brakes. The track was starting to get rutted up, and you know, you need the rear brakes to set these things up for the corners, and you know, I was just blowing through the corners and catching ruts and getting on two wheels, and finally one got me and tossed me up onto the K rail. Oh, and Jimmy Stevenson and his new V8 goes for a ride. It's finally nice, you know. I know early in the year some people were saying, you know, with the four-cylinder you're bringing a knife to a gunfight. And uh, now, you know, I'm bringing a gun to a knife fight. And uh, it's nice, you know, to be able to get out there and actually pass guys that you know you're faster than. One of the drivers that made the switch to the V8 during the offseason knows all too well about the pressure of keeping the attention of sponsors. With the exception of a few teams, most of the ProLite teams are primarily funded by the drivers and their families. After drivers work their way through the ranks and winning becomes the only thing that matters, family funded teams begin looking for extra financial backing to keep them competitive. So the last like five or six years we've been racing, you know, Kimbrough Racing, Kimbrough Electric. My whole family's been out here doing it. Every season the Lucas Oil Off-Road Racing Series has seen an increase in outside sponsors getting involved in the series. 1-800-LOAN-MART stepped up to sponsor the Las Vegas race, as well as came on board as Austin Kimbrell's main sponsor for the remaining season, as well as the 2013 season. Finally our turn to get a big sponsor, you know, we've been out here doing all the hard work, doing, getting the results. Kimbrell, the number 88, the red and black truck, he is to the front of the pack. After finishing outside the top 10 in points during his rookie season last year, Kimbrell started the 2012 season off with a win at round one at Firebird and has managed to put himself third in the point standings. And here comes Kimbrell with the checkered flag for his first ever win. One of the things that's really important for us is not just to come in, give a check, and then just, you know, leave. Uh, it was really about getting to know the team and uh, to make sure that that's the type of person that we want representing 1-800-LOMAR. The pressure's still there, it's just the uh, budget a lot easier, you know, so we're not paying for everything else out now. You know, we picked up a great sponsor that wants us to do good, wants us to win, and they'll do anything to let us get up there. The additional financial support from Lone Mart removes the financial burden from Kimbrell's family 
allowing the team to make necessary changes to stay competitive. The budget that Lomar ended up giving us was a really good budget. You know, it's going to allow us to test, get new motors, get new trannies, everything that we need to replace more often that we weren't doing, that we wanted to do, but we couldn't do with our budget. Kimbrell worked his way up from 11th to 6th place at round 13, maintaining his third place spot in the standings. Of course they want us to win, but it's also all about, you know, us growing as a team, them growing as a company. As you take a look at the number 88 truck, and good job there by Austin Kimbrell. With the V8 motor in full force this season, and all of the teams constantly looking for an advantage with the motor packages, Kimbrell's new budget will allow the team to get the truck dialed in during the offseason and come out swinging for the 2013 season. We think that he's uh, a great driver. He's in the top five right now. And we think with our sponsorship next year, uh, there's no reason that he can't get the championship.